Book One, Canto Four The Secret Knowledge This is the sailor on the flow of time. This is world matters slow discoverer who launched into this small corporeal birth has learned his craft in tiny bays of self but dares at last unplumbed infinitudes a voyager upon eternity seas in his world adventures crude initial start behold him ignorant of his godhead's force timid initiate of its vast design an expert captain of a fragile craft a trafficker in small impermanent wares at first he hugs the shore and shuns the breadths dares not to affront the far off perilous main he in a petty coastal traffic plies his pay doled out from port to neighbor port content with his safe rounds unchanging course he hazards not the new and the unseen but now he hears the sound of larger seas a widening world calls him to distant scenes and journeyings in a larger vision's arc and peoples unknown and still unvisited shores on a commissioned keel his merchant hull serves the world's commerce in the riches of time severing the foam of a great landlocked sea to reach unknown harbor lights in distant climes and open markets for life's opulent arts rich bales carved statuettes hued canvases and jewel toys brought for an infant's play and perishable products of hard toil and transient splendors won and lost by the days or passing through a gate of pillar rocks venturing not yet to cross oceans unnamed and journey into a dream of distances he travels close to unfamiliar coasts and finds new haven in storm troubled isles or guided by a sure compass in his thought he plunges through a bright haze that hides the stars steering on the trade routes of ignorance his prow pushes towards undiscovered shores he chances on unimagined continents a seeker of the islands of the blessed he leaves the last lands crosses the ultimate seas 
He turns to eternal things, his simple quest. Life changes for him its time-constructed scenes, its images veiling infinity. Earth's borders recede, and the terrestrial air hangs round him no longer its translucent veil. He has crossed the limit of mortal thought and hope, he has reached the world's end and stares beyond. The eyes of mortal body plunge their gaze into eyes that look upon eternity. A greater world time's traveller must explore. At last he hears a chanting on the heights, and the far speaks, and the unknown grows near. He crosses the boundaries of the unseen, and passes over the edge of mortal sight to a new vision of himself and things. He is a spirit in an unfinished world that knows him not and cannot know itself. The surface symbol of his goalless quest takes deeper meanings to his inner view. His is a search of darkness for the light, of mortal life for immortality. In the vessel of an earthly embodiment, over the narrow rails of limiting sense, he looks out on the magic waves of time, where mind, like a moon, illumines the world's dark. There is limbed, ever retreating from the eyes, as if in a tenuous, misty, dream-light drawn, the outline of a dim, mysterious shore. A sailor on the inconscience, fathomless sea, he voyages through a starry world of thought on matter's deck to a spiritual sun. Across the noise and multitudinous cry across the rapt unknowable silences through a strange mid-world under supernal skies beyond earth's longitudes and latitudes his goal is fixed outside all present maps. But none learns whither through the unknown he sails, or what secret mission the Great Mother gave. In the hidden strength of her omnipotent will, Driven by her breath across life's tossing deep, Through the thunder's roar and through the windless hush, Through fog and mist where nothing more is seen, He carries her sealed orders 
in his breast. Late will he know, opening the mystic script, whether to a blank port in the unseen he goes, or, armed with her fiat, to discover a new mind and body in the city of God, and enshrine the immortal in his glory's house, and make the finite one with infinity. Across the salt waste of the endless years, her ocean winds impel his errant boat, the cosmic waters plashing as he goes, a rumor around him and danger and a call. Always he follows in her forces wake. He sails through life and death and other life. He travels on through waking and through sleep. A power is on him from her occult force that ties him to his own creation's fate and never can the mighty traveller rest and never can the mystic voyage cease till the nescient dusk is lifted from man's soul and the morns of God have overtaken his night. As long as nature lasts, he too is there, for this is sure that he and she are one. Even when he sleeps, he keeps her on his breast. Whoever leaves her, he will not depart to repose without her in the unknowable. There is a truth to know, a work to do. Her play is real. A mystery he fulfills. There is a plan in the mother's deep world whim. A purpose in her vast and random game. This ever she meant since the first dawn of life. This constant will she covered with her sport, to evoke a person in the impersonal void. With the truth light strike earth's massive roots of trance, way a dumb self in the inconscient depths and raise a lost power from its python sleep that the eyes of the timeless might look out from time and the world Manifest the unveiled divine. For this he left his white infinity and laid on the spirit the burden of the flesh. 
that God had seed might flower in mindless space.